In this lesson, we're going to solve some 3 by 3 systems of equation, and we're going to do it using Kramer's rule, so very similar to what we did with the 2 by 2 system before, just with more pieces now. So we saw how to find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix, and once we know how to find that determinant, we can go ahead and use Kramer's rule to solve some systems. What we have here is Kramer's rule written for a 3 by 3 system. You'll see it's exactly comparable to the 2 by 2, where if you want to solve for x, well, what we need to do is replace the x coefficient, so instead of writing a in the numerator, in that column we wrote d, which in this case is the constant. So here's the constant. Here's the general system of 3 by 3. a1x, b1y, c1z equals d1, and so on for the other two equations. So if we want to find y, we're going to replace the y column instead of the y coefficient, we put the constant, and similarly for z. So, just like we saw for 2 by 2, just bigger determinants to solve now. So we're going to go ahead and solve example 3. Example 3 says solve the system. So we're going to find x, y, and z, and we know x is going to be some determinant over some determinant and y is going to be the same in z. I'm going to start by letting a equal the standard determinant, and in that case what I mean is the determinant that's in each denominator. And This is just going to save us some work, so we're going to take all the coefficients, so 3, 2, 5, 2, negative 3, negative 2, negative 5, negative 1, 7. So there's the standard determinant that goes in the denominator of x, y, and z. So I'm just going to stick a there, and really this is just to save writing time. So it has a determinant on top, a in the bottom, and z also has a determinant in the top, and a in the denominator. So now once we find a, we can put that in each denominator, and we just simply have to find the determinants in the numerators. So for x, we're going to replace the x coefficients with the constant. So the first column becomes negative 1, 11, 9, and everything else is the same. So minus 3, minus 2, minus 5, minus 1, and 7. So we replace the first column. In order to find y, we replace the second column. So minus 1, 11, and 9 becomes the second column, and and the first one is the coefficient of the x, and the last one stays the coefficients of z. And finally, to find z, we replace the z coefficients with the constants, and the other two columns stay the same, so we have the x coefficients and the y coefficients. So there's x, y, and z. We find the determinants, we divide them, we get the answer. So now it's calculator work, or big calculation by hand if you're going to do it by hand. But I'm going to show you again one more time how to do this on the calculator. And the other three that I'm just going to fill in. So we'll do A on the calculator, and then I'll fill in the rest. So let's get our calculator, and we're going to put in A here. So we first go second function matrix. We're going to edit, and it doesn't matter if you use one that already has something in it or a new one, but we'll just use this one and 3 by 3, and we'll just start putting in pieces. So 3, 2, minus 5, 2, remember to hit enter each time, minus 3, minus 1, 5, minus 2, and 7. So we've entered our determinant, second function quit, second function matrix, now we do something with it, so that's math, Enter. Now we need to say, okay, what was it called? So second function matrix again, it was A we put it, so enter, close bracket, enter, and we find the determinant is minus 162. So there's our determinant of A, and so that's what's going to be in each denominator. Now we go back in, we put in this matrix here, find the determinant using the same steps, the only thing that changed was the first column, and we find that the answer for that one is negative 174, make sure you work these out, and we can re 
reduce that to lowest terms, it gives us 29 over 27. Why then? Well, A stayed the same. The numerator is 462. So make sure you get that for the determinant. Reduce that to lowest terms, we get minus 77 over 27. And the last one, the numerator, we get a determinant of 48. A, we already did, is negative 162. And we're going to reduce that to lowest terms. It just hit me that I haven't shown you how to do that on the calculator. Well, if we want 48 divided by negative 162, we hit enter, we get the decimal. Well, if you want to change it to a fraction, you hit math. Change to fraction is the first one, so enter and enter again. Negative 8 over 27. So to change to a fraction, math, enter, enter. So the answer is minus 8 over 27. So there's x, y, and z, which gives us the solution to the system. We'll end that lesson there. In the next lesson, we'll do the last two examples from this section. As always, if you don't understand something, you have any questions, email me, comment on the video, or come see me in my office. We'll see you in the next lesson.